must go out on my own way. What should I do? For how to find the answer, I will explore into each career by interviewing people in this legal profession. Because uh, you can make money easily and quickly. On the other hand, teaching I always thought is very, um, very relevant for for society, but also for you know, for the students at university. So I did, did not really know exactly, but these were maybe the two things that I planned to. Well, so after I graduated um, from my PhD, I then started to work in a, in a big commercial law firm. So before I only worked two days, and then I had, was a full-time lawyer, and that was much different from before. So then I really saw that it means that you have to work long hours, you have to stay up until the evening, you do a lot of tedious work that um, is maybe sometimes not that interesting. Um, so I actually then uh, decided to, to leave the big law firm because I thought 
it was um, it was a work that I was not fully convinced of. And um, in a big law firm, you usually then work for big uh, companies who are the clients, and a bit of a lack of a personal element was what I what I uh, yeah didn't really like. Um, I'm now only uh, in an academic environment that I'm teaching and doing research. And um, I think that is what I can see now, what I really want to do, um, which much more enthusiasm than what I did when I worked in a law firm. So now I can really see what are the results of my work. I can see how I can pass on my knowledge to the next generation. Uh, instead of, you could say, just uh, helping clients with their individual cases, I feel that I can have a bigger impact now than I could have had in a in an individual law firm. At that time, I expected to to pursue in a legal career, which I can use English. I found it so challenging to to use two stuff that I like, which are legal knowledge mm -hmm. and English, and combine them together. I think personally the reason why I like this field so much is because it's a, it, it's a bit like a doctor, really. I, I feel that way. Because you're helping people with very specific problems. Um, people are in disputes, or especially in international arbitration, they're encountering some very grave difficulty, either in their life or in their professional business. Um, and then to be in a position to actually help people or help companies resolve these issues um, is really very rewarding and that's what I like doing about it um, because it just gives you a sense of satisfaction at the end of the day that you're you have made life easier for someone or even for a group of people or, or a company or even a government and that's great <laughs> Just be prepared. Um, be prepared. Um, you you see, you, language skill is important. English may not enough um, for you anymore. Um, and don't forget Thai language, which is the, the our mother tongue, because we have to communicate um, within the governmental agencies as well. Um, and the third language should be uh, the asset for you uh, to become more worldwide as you may meet um, diplomats from other countries that cannot speak English and can speak French. So I will now give advice for the academic uh, world. For the academic world, I think um, one important requirement is that you are really interested in what you are doing because that keeps you uh, doing uh, research, for example, or advancing your knowledge. Because if you only do what you are supposed to do, what others tell you, then in the academic world that may not be enough. You have to be the driving force yourself. But generally I'd say follow your guts, which is something that people say a lot. But if you know that you have a feeling or a certain interest for a field, you should follow. And very practically speaking, what I mean by that is don't be put off by any obstacles like people telling you, oh, you're never going to find a job, or that's so difficult, or you need to do this or that. There's always a way, I think. That sounds very positive, maybe even a bit naive, but at least in my case, I, I found that to be true. So if you believe in yourself and you talk to people a lot and profit from their experience, then I think there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna be successful in this field.